Now this lady named Selena texts this guy named Rob. Selena and Rob never dated, but they knew each other and they knew each other family really good. And Rob got this text and she said, Hello, sweetie, I need your help. With what? What's up? Your father put a curse on me. I need you to tell me the symmetry and plot number they were buried at. Rob parents did die. And when Selena knew Rob parents at the time, she felt really cursed from his parents. And she really believed she was cursed from his parents. So that's why she said what she said. Rob said, what do you mean they put a curse on you? I keep hearing their voices and having bad premonitions. I know it sounds crazy, but I need it to stop. Now around this time, Rob decides to go to his brother and say, hey, look at this. This is weird. Selena is acting pretty creepy right now. The brother starts to laugh and say, you know what? Just, just keep it going. See how crazy it'll get because they feel like she's just tripping right now. So he said, yeah, keep it going. See how crazy it'll get. So she proceeds and she says, I need to exhume their graves. If you help me, I'll sleep with you. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I know you always checked me out whenever I was in your dad's house. Rob didn't even answer. I don't think he want her, do he? I don't know. But he didn't answer and the day goes by and she goes even much more crazy and says, I'll come sit on your cock right now if you help me. Now later that night, in the middle of the night, everybody is asleep except for Rob. And then he hears somebody outside of his place. I don't know how he heard it exactly. When he heard somebody outside of his place, he then looked out his window. Now it's dark around this time. It's completely dark because in their neighborhood, they don't believe in street lights. <laughs> Like it's one of them type of places with no street lights. So when it's dark out, it's completely dark out. And all he could see is this shadowy figure in the shape of a woman. He's seen the shadow of a figure from the shape of a woman from the sky, the moonlight, and they have this dim porch light, but it's not the best. So he raises up to his window, he peeks his head out to talk to her, and right before he says something, she hears the window and she looks up right at him and say, please let me in. As she's looking at Rob, she's like, please let me in. Like just with the normalest casual voice ever, but looking like really terrifying with this like kind of smile. Trying to look sweet, but it's creepy. And she just says, yeah, can you please let me in, Rob? I really need to talk to you. Really need to talk about this. And I really need this information to go to your parents' gravesite. Can you please let me in? Rob said no. And all she did was look down and look back up and waved her knife and say, Rob, let me in. Like she was like literally tripping out of her mind right now. And she was getting like low key real crazy. So Rob decided to call the cops. After he called the cops, the cops came and she was still at the door. She didn't move at all. She was arrested. I just caught you lacking. I didn't say go get your snacks in the beginning of the video for a reason. If you have your snacks right now in the middle of this video, you a real one. All your food, dessert, whatever you may have. But I didn't remind you to go get your snacks and I just caught you lacking like that. That's crazy. I caught you lacking. Moving on. Now this girl met this guy off of a dating app. Absolutely loved the way that he looked. And she was flattered. They exchanged numbers and she texted him, hey, with the smiley face, being all cute. And he says, what's up? Come on, bro. You go, you gonna be that dry? Do better. Not much. I just finally got home from work. Now I get to spend time with my dog. <laughs> I wish I had a dog. You should get one. They make life so much better. I can't. My parents wouldn't allow a dog in the house. Hello. What are you up to tonight? Hmm. She says, taking care of my dog and then relaxing, I'm exhausted. Okay, I was going to ask you if you wanted to go on a date or something. Uh, not tonight. What about tomorrow night, though? Yes, that works for me. We can go to the stalking horse. I think that's like right in the middle of both of us. Because they live like an hour away from each other. Yes, that works. What time? 8 o'clock? Now these two do go on this date later on the next day. Now I always say this females, make sure you have that pepper spray ready. We don't realize pepper spray generally expires two to five years after it's made. Be honest, going on a date with a stranger is always a risk and make sure it's a public crowd. They go on this date, it's a public date, stalking horse. Apparently this is a bar. She gets all ready, she gets all cute and she says, I'm gonna call an Uber in five minutes. He says, I'm already on my way. Five minutes passed, she said, just got in the Uber. I'm almost there, I should just get us a spot at the bar. Yes, that works. Okay, let me know you there. KK, have you been to this place before? Yeah, it's a chill spot. Okay, Uber driver is talking to me, Ugh, LOL. They just talk and talk and talk and they just don't know how to shut up. So he says he's being creepy, laughing emoji. 
no i'm just like not looking to chat the whole time lol then some time goes by and she says i'm here let's talk about men being creepy now i see this girl over there across the street i'm literally by my car about to go out and she looks really uncomfortable i don't know if should i go somewhere it's like really late at night he says okay i'm at the bar you will see me she walks inside of his bar and she sees him he wave at her he walks up to her she cuts the day completely short because his vibe was off i'm begging you can you help me what threw her off a lot is that he would give her this certain look a lot of the times as they were talking. He would look at her, then make these weird looks at her out of like nowhere. And it would throw her completely off a lot of the times as they were talking. And he was very, very awkward when they would communicate to each other. But it was always that look that he would give that was just... She said, you know what? I'm not feeling really good right now. I'm gonna just go home. She said, you know what? This place is too crowded for me. She's just trying to make up any excuse. And she said, I want to go home. I'm going to walk home. He said, wait. I can walk you home. Let me walk you home. She's a really nice girl and she have a hard time saying no. And she said, yeah, okay, you can walk me home. So they have this 20 minute walk home to her place. And as they walking home, it's night. She gets that uncomfortable feeling from him once again, as they walking all alone with each other by themselves. So they finally gets to her apartment. Did y'all notice what she did wrong? He knows where she lives. Meaning if he's a creep, he knows where you See, that's why I want to be mean to y'all girls sometimes because y'all, y'all so sweet and so cute, but y'all just don't understand how stupid y'all be sometimes. But I do love y'all. So, finally gets to her place right in front of her door instead of standing in front of the apartment complex so he can at least not know which exact door you live at or building you live at. She stops right in front of her door and you know he acts. Can I get a hug? She gives him a hug and she goes inside as he looks at her go inside. And then they walk off and then she gets this text. Did I do something wrong? I got the vibe you were acting weird the way back. I was just trying to be nice. Hey, no, you didn't do anything wrong. Yes, you did. Her being nice, you know, why not? I just truthfully feel like we didn't really connect on a deeper level. And that's completely fine. But at this moment in my life, I'm just looking for that special connection with someone. I'm sorry, but I wish you the best. You were very nice. LOL, what? It was one date. Obviously, you won't feel a deeper connection immediately. That's what getting to know someone is. It takes multiple dates. Well, I mean, you have to understand men with attitudes so quickly. They're very dangerous men. The violent or abusive man. He starts out attentive and loving, and then he pulls the switch. He has no need to be saying WTF to you because you're just being honest with him. I'm sorry, I just don't think I'm interested. Dude, what? What did I do wrong? I bought you drinks and I walked you home, and then all of a sudden, a flip then switched in him. <laughs> a switch then flipped and he spams her. Nothing went wrong, so I don't understand. Okay, yeah, I see how it is. Honestly, I just wasted $100 on you tonight. Least you can do is reply to me. Show me the basic respect after I showed you a good time. Are you seriously not gonna effing answer me? LMAO. Okay, go back to your stupid dating apps. Just to remind you, I know where you live now, you broad. Go F a guy who broke and crazy like you will anyway. I was in the shower, you psychopath. You just threatened me. If you don't leave me alone, I will go to the police. And a few moments later, right after she sent that message, she hit blocked. He's blocked. And when he realized he was blocked, he lost his mind. He completely lost it. Not even 15 minutes later, she gets the knock on the door. When he hugged her goodbye to go home, he never left. He was texting her, spamming her the whole time, right outside her house. She knew exactly who that was, and she was just hoping that she locked her door which I'm sure she did. So she goes up to her door. She was thankful that it was locked. She walks up to it, checks in the peephole, and little do she see, it's him. And he just waits, waits for her. Little do he know the police is coming. And when the police get there, they was like, look, you have to go, you can't be here. If you come back, you may just get arrested. Get arrested. And she just thinks to herself, what am I doing? I cannot live like this. No woman could live like this. I have to move out. She moved out and it ended happy for her. Marissa done had a crazy ex. This go. <laughs> This gets so wild and crazy. Now Marissa is in the kitchen on her laptop and she just gets this random picture from this random number. She's very creeped out because this, you only see it in the movies. 
If this happened to me, I would lose my shit. There's something that you need to know before we get deeper in this. As soon as I got in the house, I shut the door that quick. Somebody knocked on my door and it was him. And he lived about 45 minutes away from my house. Marissa had this ex like I just said in the beginning of this video and he was very crazy. After they broke up, they was dating for three years to the point where he would come to her house at night trying to get in. But the father, because she lives with her parents, will open a door and literally fight with him so he can't get in the house. She even had to get a restraining order on this guy because that's how crazy he would become after they broke up. She blocked him on everything and he would make new accounts to stalk her. And he would see her going on this date with this new guy. When he saw that, he lost it. And this was the following night when he came up to her house and sent her this random picture from this random number. But at the time, I don't know if she knew if it was her ex or not. She got this picture and she's home alone. Her parents not home at the time. She's freaked out. She immediately put the laptop down and she walks to the window. She don't open it and she looks, look around trying to find who done that. Don't see anyone. Marissa hurry up and call her dad. She was like, someone just sent me a picture. I'm terrified. So the dad has these like ring cameras and he see that Dylan is outside of the ring camera walking to the backyard. While they're on the phone, he tells his daughter, hurry up and lock all the doors right now. That's your ex. He's outside of your house. He's trying to get in. All doors locked. So she runs to the back door before Dylan can get there. But Dylan also going to the back door. So just as she gets to the back door to lock it, she does spot her ex. So she goes around the house locking all of the windows. So Dylan decides to ball his fist up. Now their back door is this glass back door. I know some of y'all probably have this and you know what I'm talking about. I don't know how he was able to do this though because glass back door, you cannot break it by punching it. But he punched it. It broke and shattered. Now he's is in extreme pain and a lot of red stuff is coming out of him and he cannot do nothing to her. The police is already on their way doing this whole time and they come in time and arrest him. He was in jail for three years. You're going to move from this house. You, you kind of have to if you want your daughter to be safe when he's released. Uh, I just started off.